All right, I did a um, video uh, twice now on <laughs> the differences between um, uh, DC with an offset and AC coupling on an oscilloscope. And uh, one of the viewers pointed out an interesting uh, observation that I haven't shown. And I thought uh, I would show it, and it might be counterintuitive of what you think it's supposed to, what you had expected it to be, I should say. Okay, so I'm using the internal um, uh, uh, function generator of the machine. I'm outputting a square wave, uh, one volt uh, peak to peak, and uh, I have um, uh, uh, an oscilloscope probe hooked up to the generator. So here's the generator, and it hooks up to the probe. And then the probe hooks directly to channel three as well. Okay, and so um, channel one is going to be through a times 10 probe. Channel uh, three is straight in. Okay, and they're both DC coupled and uh, they're both adjusted so that you see one volt here and one volt there. Um, okay, so let's come over to this one and I will say, okay, I want AC coupling. Okay, and we can see that the AC coupling has caused a little bit of droop. Can you, can you see that? Can you see that droop? It's a little bit of droop now, right? So if I go back to um, DC coupling, it's it's a uh, it ah it's it's straight across, and um, if I do uh, AC coupling then you get this little slanted line due to the, due to the AC coupling, okay? Uh, so let's do the same thing over here, okay? We'll go to channel three, we'll make it nice and big also, okay? So it's a DC coupled right now. And we'll come over here and we'll make it um, AC coupled. And you can see that it's a whole lot worse. So this is the times 10 probe, AC coupled, and this is a one-to-one -one probe, AC coupled and the one-to-one -one is much, much worse. You might expect maybe the higher impedance of the times 10 to be worse, but no, it is actually the one-to-one -one that is worse. Um, our frequency of the generator is uh, 100 hertz. Uh, so let's go to, I don't know, let's say 500 hertz. And even at 500 hertz, you can see uh, we're getting we're getting this uh, the droopiness over here. We have some droopiness on the uh, on this side as well, um, but it's um, it's just less, uh, and it's a little bit harder to see. It does droop, but not as much as it does over here. Um, so waveform generator. We'll go back to. I don't know, let's say 60 hertz, and uh, it would be quite pronounced here at 60 hertz, and uh, uh, there we go. So yeah, um, again, times 10 probe, one to one probe, you got a lot, a lot more droopies over this way. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn on uh, oh, we can't, we can't put in a 50 ohm we can't put in a 50 ohm AC coupled. Um, we can't put in it. Uh, 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 you, you can do it with DC. You can 50 ohm the DC, but you can't 50 ohm the AC. I don't think it's going to make any difference anyway. But we can go ahead and try it just to be uh, pendant, pedantic. Uh, we could put in the 50 ohm load right here. So now they're both. They both have a 50 ohm load. And uh, you can see that it doesn't matter. We're getting, we're getting the same picture whether it's 50 ohm terminated or not. Okay, there you go. Interesting factoid of the day.